good morning from Banaue. Today I am heading to Sagada. We have arrived in the sleepy, cool town of Sagada, way up high in the mountains. Even cooler here, but the weather's nicer, it's a little bit sunnier, and you've got that fresh mountain air. The bus journey, I think, took just under three hours. It was quicker than expected and not as bad as expected. Now we're just walking a little bit to see if we can find a tourism office to find somewhere to stay. To enter the town of Sagada, you have to pay 35 pesos uh, environmental fee, so we're just registering to do that now, and then we're going to find somewhere to stay. Just been shopping around a few different places. We're being a little bit fussy today because we've found out that you can get a private room each for 300 pesos, so now that's kind of what we want. Success, we have two single rooms at the price of 350 pesos each, which is fantastic. What I have here is called Mountain Tea. It's essentially just green tea, but it's made here in Sagada. It's like a traditional drink. It does taste a little bit different, but it is very nice. The mountains are cold. I miss the beach life. And being a bit dramatic, I'm probably just feeling it a little more because I'm so used to being so hot now. The weather says it's like 17 degrees, but honestly, I'm freezing. We were a bit late getting organised to go and see any tour things today, and there isn't a lot to do in Sagada town. It's very quiet. We've learnt that the hard way but we have this little thing from the tourism office which has all the tours and basically you can choose from caving waterfalls walking tours and then there's the hanging coffins which you can see from a lot of the different tours so i think tomorrow i'm gonna go explore one or two of the caves and see the hanging coffins but then i will have to stay another night because you can't get to my next destination past midday you have to leave in the morning so i don't know what i'm gonna do it i'm not saying i'm bored but i'm not busy but this is why you should be organized this is why i'm always learning you should be more organized than i am i just don't like having strict and firm plans so i didn't make any and now now i'm kind of bored so i haven't really done a lot today just kind of chilled out explored the town a little bit I had a walk around and taken in that fresh mountain air Approximately 10 hours later. I had the worst night's sleep ever last night. I didn't even sleep that much because I was wrapped up in my full hoodie. I had my silk sleeping bag, provided blanket and towel because I didn't have anything else. And I was still freezing um, and I was wearing, you know, my jeans and everything. But not as cold as it is back in England, I know, before you say I'm whining. But here they don't have central heating and double glazing and insulation and stuff, so it's almost like being outside. I don't think I can stay in this room another night for sure. I was really, really cold. So I've got to decide what I want to do. I've got to decide if, I want, if I'm not bothered about seeing the caves and the hanging coffins and stuff. Kind of why people come to Sagada and I am already here. I don't know what to do. Management decision. I'm on the move again. Although I would have liked to have seen the caves that Sagada has to offer. I've seen plenty of caves, so I don't know if I'll be feeling like I've missed out too much. I'm off to go see Wang Odd, who is 97 years old to get a traditional tattoo, but it's just too cold here in Sagada. If I stay and do the cave and I won't have anything else to do for the rest of the day. But if I go now, then at least I'll be busy all day. First up is a jeepney over to Bontoc, which is about 40 minutes to an hour away. Hi. I have arrived in the town of Bontoc. It's already a little bit warmer. I've managed to take one layer off, so that's nice. Now I've just got to find my way over to where the Kalinga jeepney terminal is. I don't know where that is, so I'm probably going to have to get a tricycle. This is the jeepney that I'll be getting when it's full, but they don't tend to go until there's enough passengers to make the journey worthwhile. So I'm just getting myself a nice cup noodle because that's the only thing that I could find without meat in it. Look at this beautiful scenery I'm in right now. Fully breathtaking. There's a little village down there. I've been on the jeepney now for about just under two hours and I was on the two hours waiting for it to start so it's been a while. I'm now at this random point I'm not really sure where in the middle of nowhere but the locals just told me to get off here. It's really great how you can trust the locals to just kind of get you from A to B. Now I'm just going to ask one of the local guys to take me on a motorbike to somewhere that is the nearest point I can get to before I have to start hiking. But I really don't know where I am or how I'm going to get anywhere and there's no phone signal so it's a true adventure backpacking style. I just wish I wasn't carrying so much. That's where we're going. Yeah. 
cool. I just met this cool guy called Ron and he helped me get a motorbike up the hill. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Wow, it's crazy. That's where we started. Uh, have you seen it? Wow, yeah. With pigs squealing in the background. I am shaving my legs, ready to get tattooed. A nice cuff would look good there. So I'm just picking from the design sheet here in Buskerland. So uh, this is the design sheet that's available. I'm thinking of getting a cuff all the way around using something like this, then this, then this. I'm just having my design marked out with a piece of, is it a grass? Yeah. <laughs> if you've ever been tattooed next to little piglets, then that is an experience. So is it the thorn from the calamansi tree? That uh, you from use? Pomela. Pomela? Yeah. Is that a fruit as well? Yeah. How long have you been tattooing for? It's been two years. You're asking if you're single? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Who's asking? The girl. <laughs> you're handsome too. I'm flattered. <laughs> Looking good so far, I think. So it was getting dark outside, so now we've moved to where my homestay is, in someone's house. Never done a homestay before, but it's really cool. Got a nice double bed to myself. It's cute. The life of luxury, getting to lie down for my tattoo. What was your name again? Jonah. Jonah. What's the ink made out of? Charcoal. Charcoal. So what's the name of the tribe? Budbut. Budbut. -but. But -but. That's the tribe of the Buskalan people? Yeah. Or is it a Kalinga thing? The tribe of the Buskalan. Okay. Okay, it's about half eight at night. Um, we just finished the first session. We've been going for about, I don't know, two and a half, nearly three hours, I guess. So it's time to call it a night because it's the evening time and we want to have dinner and things. So far, I've got one line that means freedom and prayer, one line that's meaning family, and then I'm going to have a freedom prayer line on top of that as well. Good morning. I slept a lot better last night than I did in Sagara. After I hung up from my tattoo session, we went downstairs actually and had some dinner, which was just plain rice for me if I wanted to avoid eating the pork. Then I went down to a local homestay where I had a beer with the locals, which was nice. Just chilled out and curfew of about mm, 10 o'clock because the neighbours wanted us to be quiet, which is fine because I was knackered anyway. Got woken up about midnight by Christmas carolers, which was weird because on the one hand it was to be quiet and lights out by sort of 9, 10 o'clock. And then on the other hand, Christmas carolers waking us up at midnight, but they were really, uh, really nice to hear anyway. This is where we get water and coffee from. Stove heating some rice. Gas canister to power the stove. Kitchen supplies. And last night there was one bed here and another bed there. And this is the house. That's it. Plain and simple. Bit rainy today. But this is what the village looks like. High up in the mountains. All built pretty much without machine, I guess. Pigs and chickens everywhere. That's people's dinner and lunch. So Jenna started work on my second sitting. It hurts quite a lot more today than it did yesterday because obviously I've already had an open wound on my leg and now I'm just adding to that open wound. But I'm still just taking deep breaths and working through it, you know? And I still don't think it's as bad as an electric tattoo. It's just takes quite a lot longer. After a quick lunch break, some fried eggs and rice, Joanna and I are going in for our third session, finishing off with a top layer of mountains. I was gonna wimp out, but then she told me not to. It looks really, really swollen right now, and it's pretty damn sore. Got a big bleeder this time. Last bit all stenciled up. Just got to make it through the last session and then we can wrap up this bad boy. Finally finished up with my tattoo. It is really, really hurting now. I'm walking with a limp and I've got a hike 
back to the main road tomorrow, so I don't know how that's gonna go, because it hurts to put weight on it right now, but uh, we'll just see what happens. So after spending two nights in the village of Buskalan, I have started my journey home. It's about the half hour hike, and then about an hour and a half in a jeepney waiting on the other side. I had a really, really amazing time. It was a truly humbling and enlightening experience. Um, just living amongst the tribal people in this mountain in the middle of nowhere with no signal, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. Eating very, very min minimalistically and getting my tattoo. It was truly amazing uh, for so many different reasons. Unfortunately, this time I didn't get to meet Wangard. She was out on business in the nearest town of Tinglayan because she was asked to tattoo the chief of police's wife. Um, so she had to make a journey down there. So I didn't get to meet her, but it gives me another reason to go back in the future. Um, and I was privileged enough to be able to get tattooed by a great great granddaughter. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also find my other social media down below. Share, subscribe. I will see you again soon with another vlog. Goodbye.